when you don't talk about the Christian faith in public, actually it's not that nothing gets talked about, you get other people manipulating media, manipulating education to, to put in other, Thanks, other philosophies. Mean, we... That generates a kind of culture of what we call theistic secularism, where people believe in God, but uh, it's, there's no public references to God. So you get a kind of moral uh, kind of pressure not to speak about your faith. G'day and welcome to Clayton Today. I'm Rod Earnshaw and in this program our topic for discussion is creeping totalitarianism. Many people today feel that our society is increasingly losing its freedom. But why is this and where did that freedom come from in the first place? To help answer these questions with me again today is David Holloway, the Vicar of Jesmond in the UK. Hi David, it's good to have you with us. Thank you Rod. And uh, why don't we just get straight into it. Uh, first sort of a uh, fundamental question, are we a free society? Well, we like to think we are, and uh, certainly we have been. The question is, are we still? We have been uh, because um, we've enjoyed the fruits of uh, the Christian uh, element in the Enlightenment tradition from the uh, 17th century. Uh, That's onwards. interesting. You've said, you've said two things there, the Christian uh, element of the Enlightenment tradition. I think yeah. a lot of people would say that those are completely separate things, that the Enlightenment is really a reaction against and a, a, an escape from a Christian um, tradition. No, that's not the case at all. I mean, I, I think you've got to distinguish three Enlightenment traditions. Um, there was the French tradition, which was anti-church, anti-religion, um, and, and atheistic, or well, deist, but de facto, you know, it seemed atheistic. Um, but then you've got the English tradition, which of course P John Wesley was part of. It was uh, totally compatible with Christian faith. And of course the American tradition, which um, followed on from philosophers in, in, in England like John Locke. And I mean, you had someone like Thomas Jefferson who uh, defended liberty and he was one of the founders of the American Constitution. And uh, he said, can the liberty of a nation be thought secure when uh, its only firm basis is removed, namely the conviction in the, the minds of the people that it is a gift of God? I mean, that is really at the heart of the American understanding of liberty. So the, the, the Enlightenment tradition or the, the, the liberal democratic society that we have is based on Christian principles? Yes, it has. And this is really why there's such a conflict of ideas. I mean, there's that French tradition fighting against that more Christian, certainly it's theistic tradition uh, of the Enlightenment, which we represent. If you lose your faith in God, you cannot actually have um, liberty at the end of the day. I mean, it, it, it gets eroded, liberty as we understand it. So the relationship then between uh, loss of freedoms in, in society or perceived loss of freedoms and uh, a loss of, of God and God yeah, talk yeah. in the society, do you think the two things are related? Absolutely. Societies, of course, can only hold together when uh, you have three things going for it. It's like a three-legged stool. You need a uh, political order, you know, the actual arrangement, which is your democratic one, um, and uh, you need a good uh, economic uh, order, but also you need that spiritual ethical order, which has been the Christian one. And in fact, you're getting secular philosophers, there's someone called Roger Scruton who says that, that you know, when you look at the societies which are, are liberal democracies, you always see the Christian value system in the background. So he's made that, that, that causal or that, that well, historic a, a link connection. between them. You need fundamentally uh, a transcendental framework, you know, or some kind of um, transcendent idea or person in the nature of God to be able to judge and evaluate what the state's doing. So, so you're saying it's not just a historical accident that where there's Christianity there's social de democracy, but actually there is a causal link that this, the, uh, the ideas of Christianity, yeah, namely yeah. the transcendent God, over the state has given rise uh, yes, to freedoms indeed. It's, that it's we Jesus' enjoy. teaching, classically put, um, uh, on rendering to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. And uh, you, can you get just, that in the Bible. I, that's, that's sort of perhaps a little bit jargon. Yeah. Can you spell that out a little bit? How does that, that play out on the ground in terms yeah, yeah. of society? I Where think? you've got um, uh, just uh, Caesar, the state, um, you end up with no control. I mean, the state power becomes the final arbiter and of course we call that fascism. Just any th time where total where where, power, where power is, is, is the final arbiter in the yeah. state and you've had Nazism and Stalinism, Marxism, um, where God has been 
uh, exiled, as it were, and all you're left with is, is power. And you had right-wing power and left-wing power. And uh, uh, that, is, that is the fruit, certainly in the modern era, of, um, uh, of neglecting God. And this, of course, is the trouble uh, and the worry that we're having now, because as you are losing the Christian influence, and, 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 and certainly the government is coming more and more secular, there's less and less ways in which um, they can be held to account. Now, the reason why there's always been a worry on the other side, why people um, are cautious about the church, as it were, or religion having too great a, a say, is because we spoke about when you lose God you, and only have Caesar. Mm -hmm. But of course, you can also do the other thing. Um, liberal democracy insists on both mm -hmm. uh, God and Caesar. You can lose Caesar and that is a, a real problem and that you see and then you have, have theocracy with you just have theocracy and god's rule on earth too. yeah and that is not Absolutely. always a good thing at all indeed i, I have to say at the reformation period itself and, and and until post the reformation period uh with after the wars of religion where you had religious people using force you see that the notion of the state um and caesar the state is the only kind of group or cohesion as they say um in society which is able to use force to achieve its will that alone, not the church. If the church, and so that preserves the freedoms of society. It preserves so the freedom. The church is because not if the church exerting that, force, uh, when when you get religious people alone exercising power, because they're fallen, um, and there aren't checks and balances. I mean, many times they exercise power uh, in ways that are clearly wrong. I mean, is, it, is it worth just very briefly yeah. addressing the issue of the differences between different religious views? Yeah, yeah. Different views on that. Do you want to well, comment? Well, on that? I mean, on that, the Catholics were worse than the, the Protestants, as I say, were, were, were not uh, uh, whiter than white. Um, I mean, because the Catholics, they had such a strong doctrine of the papacy and the authority, uh, you know, less of a, uh, a scriptural basis, they were more inclined to, to be utilitarian. That's to say, if it works, let's go with it. Mm. Um, but you've seen this um, in, dare I say it, in, in this century with Northern Ireland, you know, where you've had Catholics and Protestants uh, still fighting. You've had it in Yugoslavia. But of course, supremely, I'm afraid, you see it in Islam, which um, even more, I mean, there, there is, it's, uh, you know, many Muslims are moderate, liberal Muslims, but um, uh, uh, Muslims see that the ultimate goal is to have uh, a, a religious ultimate authority um, in this world. So if, that, uh, if, if that's, if that's the, the case, and they mm. are inextricably linked like that, the Christian tradition and the freedoms mm. in our society, we've talked previously about loss of, sort of God mm. And, mm. and perception and awareness of God in society. Uh, we should expect then to see loss of freedoms in our society. Is that, is that um, actually what we're seeing? Are you, can you substantiate a, a loss of freedom in society? Yes, is that yes. Just a, I mean, th there's a yeah. range of things. I mean, now all the, the, the equality acts that the government is trying to uh, uh, use to force... Now, um, equality, uh, that yeah. just sounds like a good thing. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, it is, but yeah. what is happening at the moment is the government is trying to force, for example, churches to employ people uh, who neither necessarily believe what they believe or behave as they would think right. Could you just very briefly outline what you think we need to do about this issue of this creeping totalitarianism? How can we address it? Well, well I think in this country we have to get back to a full understanding of the place of, of, of religion and the Christian faith uh, in public life. Um, that's not to say that, that, that the Christians um, therefore must dominate and determine and enforce people to believe, but Christians must have freedom to propose what they believe, not to impose it. But, but at the moment, this is really being threatened. I mean, they can't impose what they believe about, mm. propose what they believe about morality in schools or, or what they believe about even religion. And I think it's vital that um, uh, certainly with um, what's going on uh, with an encourage a, a resurgence of religion in some places, that we need to be evaluating religions and have freedom to argue, you know, where's truth in religion? So um, it, it's vital that Christians just get back to a yeah. full understanding of okay. this relationship between the Christian Great. faith and the state. Thanks, Dave. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. We hope today's discussion has prompted you to think further about your freedom and where it comes from. And if you'd like to see more programs like this, then please check us out at www.clayton.tv. But for now, goodbye.